Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Today we're continuing our uh, beloved Royal Rumble campaign. This is potentially the second last mission because it's the last faction that we need to get out of the ring. The Cult of Jiraiya. A very nasty faction and we're fighting against 52 devoted fanatics so that uh, will be harsh. But we are... Uh, not alone. We will bring a good team. Not the prime team though. Let me figure out whom we're going to bring on to that mission. Good, I think we got it uh, together. We got a couple of drones. I think we just need the right ammunition and why not take the brain cord as well. That seemed like a fun ability. I also got the satellite strike because that seemed like a fun ability as well so let's join and see if we can kill 50 plus enemies to move to engage. Eliminate all all right we landed a nice little high ground here one entrance area here one here and one through the middle So who's your teammate, bastard? There, okay. Seems doable. The entire area is completely overrun. Let's first of all give these guys less mobility. Sempre avanti. Sempre avanti. Go on always. Or move always. Always forward. Wow, plenty of enemies. That is a very target-rich environment. <laughs> uh, it's getting better and better. Depending on what your definition of better is. If it includes, you really, 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 really want a lot of enemies, then it's definitely getting a lot better. Good. We're going to produce a big fat uh, face off again. I think we only got one sniper this time. Halo is her partner. That fanatic here is a problem. Let's deal with him first. Because as long as that guy is well and alive, we can't really move up. He could explode way too easily. On 
the other hand, I need the damage. I need the damage in order to kill as many of them as possible. One, two, three, four. Yeah, unfortunately can't yet kill that uh, devoted fanatic. This here could be a good one. Run gun. Moving to here and that should be a straight shot and kill. Shattered Realm. Takes a lot of uh, heat here. Good, because that guy could have exploded. And clearly we don't want that to happen. Okay, so Shinrod, what are we going to do? Shinrod has eight protocol. Um, we'll give that to himself. That will allow him then with a run and gun to take this position here and be in full cover effectively. I don't want anyone to come in from the north. So this here must be off limit. Next up, Hayward could go all the way over here, which I think is the right call. Double time. So from there, we're, we're team working over. softening up as many as possible and then this here should should be the kill Yep, satisfying kill. Two Master Necromancers are keeping these guys alive. That's one option, but I like the deployable drone better. Cover. 
Lots of Psy zombies. Mm. I think we are just going to hit all three of them. That's okay. here okay more zombies Lyrical. We're taking the heavy bio assault trooper. Unfortunately, misses. Okay. Lyrical moves up. And let's put more firepower onto the battlefield. Too many necromancers, they are resurrecting each other. Good. More mimic beacons. Stupid fire grenades. Jiraiya seems to be a named enemy. Well, it's called Cult of, uh, Cult of Jiraiya, right? So it's likely going to be the boss boss. I feel like that airstrike will be incredibly helpful for us down the line. If all of them are just going to stay here, that would be great. Are you telling me even more? Oh my god. They are now going for our trooper, which is exactly what they should do. Trooper has regeneration and is supposed to tank. Turrets are okay as well, like three armor is plenty. Their weapons do not deal that much damage.
And I really like those little drones. The face drone isn't as great, but those uh, healing drones are actually quite good. Nice one deflected. More and more zombies are coming in. But the front line is still standing very strong. Oh, oh yeah, baby! Couple of them straight into sustenance. Oh yeah! So we're going into full cover. Let's heal Shinro. Very good. Okay, couple of things. First things first, right? Let's get the necromancers because we all know why there are so many enemies here. Burning fanatics, they're all de facto dead. Necromancer, yes, please. Revives. Fanatic, Fanatic. Templar, let's kill the Templar. Could heal everyone if we wanted. here so that we can actually see the necromancer that's really unfortunate But we got the towers, fanatics, templars, dryer, 
Fnatic. Fnatic. Necromancer. This guy there needs to die. Fnatic, Fnatic, Templar, Jiraiya. Fnatic, Fnatic, Fnatic. No. 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 Yes. Was that the, the guy that was holding everything together? Apparently not. Hmm. Master Necromancer. Still one there. Okay. Oh, he's in sustenance. Now I do understand. Sustenance should break all of that. So who is keeping these things together? I don't know. This is very strange. Repair the turret. Okay. Shield. Or alternatively, shock. Or yet alternatively, stun. You know what? We're stunning. Takes out one for one round. Whatever you say. Good, we're deploying another drone. Drones are actually quite helpful and they soak up a lot of heat. Advanced teamwork so the chin rot gets another action. Very kill kills the zombie. I didn't want to kill the zombies originally. Because, as you can imagine, if you kill the master, you don't need to deal with the zombies. But apparently. We can't find the master. Or it is that one. How about that? Or it is that one stupid necromancer in sustenance, in which case can't even do anything about it. We're giving ourselves an aid protocol that gives us overwatch and cover. Uh, well, not cover, but. Oh, uh, well, half cover. Down. 
Alright, there is another Master Necromancer. Haven't seen that before. The Orb of the Strike isn't bad. I would give it a solid B+. It's a very strong item. But getting it right, I mean, it does not damage immediately, right? It has like one round of cooldown but in cases like this with yellow alert where everybody's just jumping in okay more enemies Lightning reflexes. Clever. And we have another pack. Good, our towers so far are holding on quite nice. The moment that I say that, one gets killed. really one of uh, these attrition battles battles of attrition moves up <laughs> right bring it on yeah it's not like it's changing a lot Drones can repair one another, which is fantastic. Putting up a few more shields. Okay, cool. Next up, we're healing. All right, so time for a cereal. 
Fnatic, Fnatic, Necromancer. Let's go, baby. Fnatic. I'll tell you what, we're continuing here. Very nice, so far that worked out absolutely perfect. Okay. Again, we need to kill the stupid uh, necromancers, not the Templar. Yes, exactly these guys. Flying in the air. This is barely any matter left to stand on. Fanatic. Necromancer. More fanatics, more fanatics, and a Templar. We are going for the Necromancers. The pain, is real. the pain indeed with the Necromancers is real. X moves up. Too bad. That should have been a kill. All right, Shinrod. Shinrod heals over here. Just to stop the burning. Let's see if we can hit. Oh yeah, good shot. Lyrical and Shinrod are tech teaming and keeping that side really well under control. Dakar moves up and 
We're finally getting this guy. Aviator kills the Necromancer. Fidelius moves a bit closer. Kills the Jiraiya and hopefully a few of the others are heavily injured. Big fat Psionic Leech, so all we needed to do was kill Jiraiya. Copy that. Come get some. Moving to position. Scanning. Biosaw Trooper moves up. And I would actually heal him because he's our front line and he does a really good job. Plus, we can't do anything when he's burning. My resolve weakens. They would temper my faith. Another victim at the false god. You belong here. For the temple. Uh -oh. All right, Jiraiya is in the middle of everyone. Damn it. Drone goes down. Effie was not at fault uh, for being teleported to there, to be honest. We have a super solid base up. Uh, we're really, really stable there. And I think we've killed most of the enemies. back I needed to, to take a very short break those missions really take their toll it uh, is always like an hour worth of playing but after Jiraiya finally died I think we're in a really good spot oh no he didn't oh, I remember he revived hmm well that is unfortunate The Templars might have Blade Storm, and I don't want to risk anything. Let's get our drones in here. 
repair is possible, but we don't need that. Shield is possible as well. Let's see if they have played storm. Apparently the answer is no. Big fat drone shock. Good. That was uh, that one was reflected. Okay. Cool. Elop moves up, gets into the open, but is hopefully finally able to kill this guy. Nope. Only the armor. My flank is exposed. Not sure if we, uh, if a melee attack can be reflected. We're going to find that out in a second. The answer is no. Very good. So, Halob needs healing since he is quite exposed from where he's standing. And whilst we're at it, let's give him some aid protocol as well. Don't slow me down. Axe moves up. Good. The Templars that have bothered us for a while are now finally dead. Time to clean up the rest of the crew here. Good. There are clearly Necromancers. One over there. Gotta deal with them. And one way of doing that is by moving in a little bit further with our tank by assault trooper here. Oh, that was a good hit. Nice. Good. Can we now see the necromancer? Yep. I'll take 40% shot. Nope. Didn't work out. But I'll take another one because he's important to get down. With him, all of the zombies would also die. The crime moves up, his full cover on this side, and I am wondering 50 50 on the Master Necromancer. No bueno. Okay, cool. Sniper moves up. We're still trying to aim for that Master Necromancer. Aviator moves up. I think we abandoned the plan for the Necromancer. Instead, we're going to do some overwatches. And get as many of uh, their frontliners down as possible. Good, the burning will kill that zombie. Lyrical moves in, watches. Shinrod gets a bit closer. I think we again need the high ground. Get rid of, uh, get rid, uh, uh, rid of another zombie there. Hair trigger is a welcome option. 50-50, not really. We're instead overwatching. Got enough overwatches so that their initial push should not be a problem. Epi can help us tank a bit. By Assault Trooper, very much regenerates, so even if he's hit, it should not be the end of the world. That's a lightning reflex from the devoted fanatic, but that only happens once and afterwards we get the drop on him 
Shinrod, I'm a bit disappointed. Good. There, Heretic finally got access to our backline. And mysteriously enough, uh, got missed by everyone. Okay, fair enough. Look. We're doing a bit of shielding here so that Axe can also tank. Then we're doing some free hits. This little disorientation. Moving closer and Timbit will kill the Templar. Or not, maybe there is deflection. Reload. Kill the Templar. Alright, fair enough. Lyric Hill got the job done. We are healing. Bastard uses his last heal before then taking a better position. We're now in a kind of straight uh, frontline versus frontline fight. Taking indestructible full cover in that uh, regard. Free reload axe is definitely going to shred through them. Takes away cover. So the master necromancers are still resurrecting these guys, but it's okay. We have enough firepower to actually go through all of them without sweating. And of course not uh, if 90% uh, of our shots miss, but okay. My is at risk. Heavy bio assault trooper is the sole front line now. There's an entire battalion over there, but I know how we can deal with that, which is a protocol into threat assessment. Shinrod does exactly that. Basol Trooper is one shot left over in his shotgun, so we're good. I can handle that. Dark Cry. Kills his uh, Psy zombie, which is good. And Hewar takes high ground so that she can actually hit some more. Aviator full cover on the other side. Epi reloads overwatches. We're getting a free reload uh, here and we're running out of good cover spots so I'll take something in the back line. Good enough. Cultus will potentially fire on the heavy bio trooper. But at this point in the, uh, in the fight we are definitely in the stronger position. And even if they uh, start shredding the bio assault trooper a bit down, oh, it's not the end of the world. The natural defense that he has, of course, makes it easier for us. Very solid hit.
Templar takes one hit and potentially can move out afterwards. No. Good old deflect. This time works for us. Good, we're trying to get the Templar down. And Epi is just doing a fantastic, no, Axe is, uh, it is, is just doing a fantastic job. Epi as well, they're all carrying their weight. Couple of shots from the turrets with uh, squad side. 40% hits, they are free, so I'll take what I can get. Specifically, when the enemy is so exposed, they don't have a lot of long ranged weapons. Put our next expendable target, can move out. By the way, Biosol Trooper moves back. Can't really hunker down himself. That is something that uh, the AI cannot do. If they're burning, they're burning. We're instead handing out shields. Bessert moves up. Gets an overwatch here. We'll help the trooper. Shinro does overwatches. Trooper is still our sole frontline. Reload overwatch here. And we're taking out the Necromancer. Finally our sniper is ready to go. High ground, really good aiming angles. Death from above. Means we're just reloading, because why not? Aviator overwatches will take out the zombie. Like I said, we do have enough firepower to just brute force our way through a protocol for an extra overwatch shot goes to the heavy bio assault trooper then we're overwatching ourselves overwatching. Moving out. and assault trooper reloads Templar tries to move in, and that's where it becomes messy because he was just running into that big fat overwatch trap. Which brings us, I think, to two more enemies. The Necromancer with a shotgun, not really good into full cover. I'm not even sure if they do have a chance to hit at all. This is 40% from cover, 20% uh, from the from the aid protocol. And whatever he has as a defense might even be another 20%, so. I'm under attack here. We're taking our good uh, free shots that I mentioned earlier. There we go. At some point these guys will go down, if they like it or not. No need to push in. I don't want any more casualties. Super Heavy Turret uh, goes uh, in. 
and our super sexy drone goes in as well. Very good. Overwatch, overwatch. Definitely an overwatch. Good. I can tell you, once Master Necromancer is dead, that will potentially be the end of this mission. Necromancer decides to not move, which is somewhat clever, because there are a bazillion overwatches. Zombie doesn't have that intelligence and instead decides to push in. And the heavy bio assault trooper, who in effect has single handedly tanked most of this, is now pushing in further. Dear turrets, it would be nice if you're not missing that you could at least remove the low cover. We're going, going over here, so next turn he's dead, no matter what, because Hayward is on the case. In the meantime, move over. Wow, that guy is incredibly good at just avoiding all kinds of hits. I think he by now has kind of dodged about 20 shots. Granted, some of them were not very high probability, but still, this is crazy. I must concentrate. Almost feel bad for not pushing in now. <laughs> I can't avoid it's still moving. For much longer. I should hire that necromancer. If he becomes our new frontline, things will change. It's crazy. Now this guy... Single-handedly is avoiding any form of capture. Axis... Pushing in. Another 90% shot just completely missed, but he's now marked. Okay, so I get it. Everything that is not a 100% shot will miss against that Necromancer, which means we need to get the 100% shot. Or get the legendary capture of the necromancer essentially avoiding a hundred percent shot. Give me time to reload. Okay, so he moved in and then he reloaded. I can tell you that I have no sympathy for him anymore. This now needs to end 100%. Oh, you are absolutely 100% kidding me. Okay, he pulled off yet another crazy maneuver. Somewhat proud of uh, that necromancer made the episode. He was the true MVP. It's the real Jiraiya. Almost sad to uh, see him go. <laughs> oh.
Oh boy, how was that even possible? Like, we had we had a ninety percent shot, and then another seventy something percent shot, and another sixty percent shot after twenty shots that have been missed, and he just kept bailing. And the moment that I had a hundred percent shot, he pulled off the sustenance. Good. That takes out. Against the elders, we find nothing but success. The cultists completely. Let's see, what else could we get? Uh, that is not helpful. Promotion not necessarily needed. Resistance contacts would be fine, but again, not needed. Health, okay. This could be fine for our main team, but we're definitely at the end uh, game now, so I don't necessarily see how this will make a huge impact for what we're trying to do. Happy. Did a good job. Everybody on this uh, mission did a reasonably good job. I think it was good. Anyways, we are, I think, we're ready to kick this off. Every single enemy, every a single chosen had been killed, every single faction had been killed, which means. I will now prepare the legendary network tower and in the next mission that's exactly what we're going to do you heard it correct gentlemen and ladies we are actually going to go for the last mission I don't think that there's a lot more power grabs that I could get so might as well end the episode here and we're then going to go for the actual missions thank you so much for watching if you're excited for a grand finale in the royal rumble campaign then rumble that like button like it hasn't been rumbled before choke it down and then hopefully the ring uh, referee will say one two three pinned and you win thank you and have a good one bye bye